With the midterm elections exactly one week away, President Joe Biden is in Florida tonight stumping for the Democratic candidates who are behind in the race for governor and U.S. Senate. But the president's visit comes as his own approval ratings lag behind and as Americans are forced to spend more at nearly every turn. White House correspondent Owen Jensen is in Florida for us tonight. Owen. Hi, Tracy. Good evening to you. President Joe Biden is here in the Miami Fort Lauderdale area of Florida trying to help Charlie Crist and Val Demings win their respective races for governor of Florida and U.S. Senate. And he's also trying to convince not just Florida residents, but all Americans that Democrats are the party to stick with despite inflation pummeling Americans day in and day out. President Joe Biden arrives in the Sunshine State hoping to convince voters Democrats are the best choice in the midterms. I believe hard work should be rewarded. And I believe that we should leave no one behind, not in the United States of America. But many Americans are feeling gloomy about the economy and their own financial well-being. Still on Twitter, the president says, I know which side I'm on, and he included a video that says he wants to codify Roe v. Wade while Republicans want to ban abortion nationally. And just yesterday, with gas prices painfully high, the president blasted oil companies. Oil companies, record profits today, are not because they're doing something new or innovative. Their profits are a windfall of war. The windfall from the brutal conflict that's ravaging Ukraine and hurting tens of millions of people around the globe. The White House is also taking a jab at congressional Republicans. It released a statement claiming the GOP political plan includes putting bedrock programs like Social Security and Medicare on the chopping block and repealing the prescription drug and health care provisions in the Inflation Reduction Act. But the head of the Republican National Committee writes, one week from today, voters will send a message to Joe Biden and the Democrats that their disastrous one-party rule isn't working. Democrats have failed Americans with rising prices, unsafe streets, and an open border, and voters are ready for a change. Now, an AP NORC poll done in early October last month found that 46% of people feel their personal financial situations are poor. Meanwhile, after his trip here to Florida today, President Biden will campaign in New Mexico on Thursday, California on Friday, and then back to Pennsylvania on Saturday. In Miami, Florida, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.